Alright, so in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make this transition in After Effects 2020. This video idea was suggested by one of my viewers in the comment section, so if you have a video idea that you want me to upload, make sure to comment down below. Thank you and enjoy! <laughs> Alright, so first off, let's start off by creating a new composition, and please copy down my settings, and I'll be changing this width and height to 1920 by 1080 and then we can use around 10 seconds for the duration, and then just name it anything you would like, I'll name mine transition, and then press OK, and then we're gonna go ahead and make another new composition, and we're gonna name it BG small. And you'll understand why we'll be naming that later. And then make sure you use 400 by 400. And again, you'll understand why we'll be using this dimension later. So go ahead and click OK. And then go ahead and pull out your logo. I'll be back when I find my logo. Alright, so now that I found my logo, I just typed it out right here. And you just want to put your logo right here and make sure you center it right here. So how you want to do that is to select the layer. And go ahead and the align option align horizontally and align vertically if you don't have the align options go ahead and go to window and click align right here all right so next up what you want to do is add some uh, effects if you would like but for today's tutorial i want to keep it short so i won't be doing that so go ahead and go back to transition your main composition and then pull out your bg small composition like right here by dragging it right here and then this will pop up and then what you want to do is scale it down or anything you would like, just change it, anything. And then what you want to do is in the effects and presets tab, go ahead and search motion tile right here. And then you just want to drag it onto the layer right here. And then for, 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 the, for the first part, it will show nothing. But then what you want to change for the settings are the output width and output height. So I'll be changing mine to around like 10,000. I think that should be enough more than enough actually so yeah there we go so now that we got our motion tile done you can just freely scale it down scale it up anything you would like i'll be doing like around here for myself and then what you want to do is change the rotation by selecting the layer and pressing r in your keyboard and then just go ahead and do this way or this way anything you would like i'll be doing it this way so around like minus 10 degrees and then what we'll, be, what we'll be doing next is to actually animate the background. So go ahead and press P on the keyboard while uh, selecting this layer. And then click, go to the very first part of your keyframes, like your time indicator, and click this stopwatch icon. And then what you want to do after that is just move this thing. Just click and hold, drag it, and move it around here. Alright, once you've done that, you just want to go to the very end of the... Uh, composition and then move move your uh, position so what you want to do first is to click this uh, magnification ratio and then click around I'll say 12.5 uh, actually that's a bit too much 25% yeah all right and then once your time indicators at the very end of the composition just click here drag it and just move it like right here and boom all right, and then we can watch the animation we made. So yeah, this is our animation for now. And if you want to slow the animation down, you can go ahead and just drag this and put it back like a bit back like that. And then it will be a bit slower. All right, so now that I like my background right now, what we want to do now is the actual like transition that comes in. So go ahead and click your uh, magnification ratio again and then just click fit. And then what you want to do now is to add a little background. So what I'm going to do is add a ellipse tool right here. So long click here, hold click, and then ellipse tool. And then just while pressing shift, you just want to do that. Actually not shift, actually just don't hold shift and just go like that. Make it pretty big so it'll fit like the whole entire screen. So I'll be making it a bit bigger. That, just play around, you know something that you like that will look nice okay and once you've made your shape copy down my settings here so don't apply any stroke so make it zero pixels and make the fill the color that you would like so for today's tutorial i'll be choosing 
a very dark like black ish color and what i'm going to be doing is to move this shape layer below the bg small layer all right so what we want what we want to do now is to move our time indicator to zero seconds again and then press p on your keyboard while, while selecting the shape layer click the keyframe right here move move the y position to the bottom of the screen and move your uh, time indicator to around one and a half seconds and then drag the shape layer while pressing shift and make sure to go that it will center like the whole screen and it will fill up the whole screen and you want to select these keyframes and press f9 on the keyboard and then go to graph editor right here click it and then it will look complicated at first uh, make sure it's edit speed graph so you can edit the speed and you want to select these by doing like this by dragging it and just use this little yellow dot and just drag it in like that to the very left and then you just want to select out of the graph editor and go ahead and watch your animation awesome it looks really really clean as you can see and what you want to do now is add a little effect so it has like a little liquidy watery effect onto the shape layer so select the shape layer go to your effects effects and presets tab and go ahead and search turbulent displays and you just want to drag it onto the shape layer and then you can copy down my settings i actually forgot what i used but you can play around with my settings so now i'll hide the bg small layer for now so you can see um i'm pretty sure i use something like 35 for the amount and hold on let me check yeah 35 should be enough so that it will add that little water watery liquidy effect go ahead and go back 25 percent all right and then let's unhide the bg small layer and let's see yep it looks really nice there's this little water effect and we made our little uh coming in animation all right so what we want to do right after this is so that this background is a bit more blurred and a bit more like hard to see because we're, we're going to be adding our main logo and p making it pop up so what we're going to do first is to select the bg small layer and then in the effects and presets tab search gaussian blur and then just drag it into the bg small layer like that you can play around but uh i'll be doing it around 20. yeah 20 should be good and then uh as after you ap apply the gaussian blur thing you just want to look when the shape layer fills the screen like the, right there at the very end of the shape layer keyframe you just want to uh, press Control shift and delete i mean sorry Control shift and d and then delete the shape layer too like right that and then new solid and then and name it anything you would like and click ok and then move the solid to around here and then just drag this place drag this uh solid layer while pressing shift and then move it right here and it will snap into place so it will be like a normal what do you say and make sure this uh solid layer is the same color as the shape layer so it doesn't change all right so once we've done that what we want to do is to make this background to show only when the back uh the shape layer this like little wavy thing is showing right so what we want to do to do that is to click shape layer and while pressing shift you want to click the dark blue solid one or whatever you chose for the color and then right click and then press pre-compose and then just type anything you like i'll be naming it like bg liquid and then click ok all right so what you want to do is copy down right here you want to put the bg small layer at the below and you want to put the bg liquid at the top and you want to select the track my option right here and select alpha matte and boom you cropped the little bg right here for the liquid animation and then what you want to do after that is to select this duplicate it and then pl put it down below and then check the view option again and then boom there you go you have it cropped and you have it uh, nice all right so after you've done that you just want to start off by doing the logo animation next
So how we're going to be doing that is to go ahead and pull out your logo again. I'll just be typing my logo out right here. All right, so once you've done that, just like adjust the size and stuff on how you want it. And then you just want to center it out by clicking align horizontally and align vertically again. All right, so once you've done that, you just want to... Oh, hold on. All right, so you just want to select the time indicator to around where you want to, when you want the logo to be where. So if around at one second, I want my logo right here to be like right here, a bit tilted. And so you just want to, while selecting the logo you have right here, you just want to press, press S. And while pressing shift, you just want to press R and P. So all your position, scale, and rotation keyframes are below. So you just want to click position, you want to click scale, and you want to click rotation. So now that you've gone that right there, you just want to go back again right here. Around, I'd say, yeah, you, just, you can just go back to zero seconds. And you want to scale down it a bit, like 90. Actually, I'll go like 85. 85. And then you want to do like, rotate it a bit more like that. And you just want to put this position like right there. And you want to select these keyframes again. Press F9 in your keyboard. Go to your graph editor. And make sure you're on speed graph again. Select these keyframes. And just drag it like that. Alright, so now that you've done that, exit out of your graph editor. And go ahead and watch your animation. Nice. So it kind of looks a bit weird right now. So you can play around with the keyframes you want to. I'm going to be moving my last keyframes like right this so it's a bit more slower. All right, and then once you've done that, you just want to go right a bit after the last keyframes right here. Select this little button at the very left for all of them. And then again, move your uh, logo time indicator to around here. And then you want to put it back to the original position. So I'm going to scale it down 85. Uh, rotation for like right there and position right there all right so once you've done that you want to select these keyframes again press f9 just in case and go to the graph editor and what you want to do is to for this you want to select the left yellow dot and drag it like this so it kind of looks like a hill like a little you know curve at the graph editor and then you can watch your animation so it kind of looks like it's jumping up and it's just falling down, you know? It's pretty smooth. So, we're almost done. We just have to finish the exiting animation and it's super, super easy. All you wanna do is select your BG small right here. Oh, sorry, never mind. Uh, go to your BG liquid right here. Just click it, double click it, and then select this layer and press U on our keyboard. And then what you wanna do is actually, uh, delete this dark blue solid again i'm sorry i kind of make made a mistake there just want to drag it like that and then you want to press p on your keyboard but if you already have the position right here you don't have to and then go back to your transition see when you want it to go out so i want it to go out around from here from around two seconds go back to your bg liquid and then click this little diamond icon right here go around like a second or so anything you like and then change your y position right here so it goes down like that all right and then you just want to select these keyframes again press f9 on your keyboard go to the graph editor and for this you can still keep it like that so just drag it at the left exit out of your graph editor go to transition and you're pretty much done go ahead and preview your transition yep wow that was pretty quick wasn't it it was it was difficult it had a lot of like advanced elements in it so if you have any any questions make sure join my discord link down below and dm me or go into the chat and us ask me some questions or anything like that or even in the comments below so if you have any more video suggestions make sure to suggest me in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye